Okay, so today we got a Nissan Armada two-wheel drive that the uh, brakes are worn on and it's gotten into the rotor. So we're going to change the brake pads and the rotor. Uh, as far as I know, that's all we're going to do. Uh, if we see anything else, then we'll go ahead and address that. So the first thing on these, I like to knock this uh, 12 millimeter off. Because if you see here, you've just got a little tiny pigtail of a brake line and we're going to have to get this caliper out of our way so if you knock this loose you got plenty of slack to maneuver the uh, caliper okay now we got uh, I think they're 17 millimeter yeah 17 millimeter here on the uh, caliper uh, bolts Take that off, and then I'm just going to twist it right up there like that. Just get it out of your way. We'll go ahead and take, you got these little clips. Uh, well, you're supposed to have two, but there's only one on this one. They're not that important, but they need to be, they're supposed to be there. Um, if you want to go down and buy some, if yours are missing, then obviously you can. I'm not going to worry about it. You want to take take a look and make sure you, you know, wherever your wear indicator is, put it in that same uh, spot. And you can see where the uh, pads have been metal to metal. Okay, so now we're going to knock these bolts loose. Uh, those look like about maybe 19. No, 18. And let's see. I don't know if the little nano is going to be able to do it. Let me get a breaker bar and we'll get them broke loose first. Be careful with your ABS line right here. You don't want to damage it. Okay, there's the bracket. There's the rotor. I'm going to go ahead and hang the rotor up here. But you want to make sure that you clean it. Any prevent any corrosion preventative on it. Just take some brake clean and a rag. Well, I've got the caliper bracket off. I'm going to go ahead and clean the. Sometimes the brake uh, pads will come with new hardware. This particular one didn't. So I'm going to. Clean these up a little bit. Put the pads in. One pad.
Don't forget your clips. Now I'm only going to put the one on because we don't have the other one. Now, I just use channel locks to push the uh, push the pistons back into the caliper. Now on a dual piston design, you need to be careful not to push one end so fast that you pop the other one out. So I'm just going to slowly push on one, making sure that other one does not start coming, coming out. As long as you go slow, the fluid will go back into the reservoir and it won't push that piston out. You don't want that piston coming all the way out. Make sure your boots are in good shape. And these are composite pistons. So you, it, whatever you tool you do use to uh, push them back in, make sure you're not damaging the pistons. And this one pushed out just a little bit, so I'm going to just slowly push it in. You see the boots kind of the boots in good shape, but it's not folding back in the way the way you, you ideally want it to. Good. That should be good enough, I think. Uh, make sure you rotate the caliper. Proper orientation. Okay, this is a problem here. Probably why the pad... Uh, I'm gonna knock this out and clean it up. All the y'all, you, you want to make you want to make sure that your uh, pins slide back and forth easy. This one's nice and easy. I'm not even gonna mess with it. This one here seized up. why that one pad uh, ended up going metal to metal. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way out of there. And what happens, they just get corroded and stuff. The grease inside ends up drying up and uh, they get seized up. So I'm going to take some scotch bright. I'm going to clean this up real good and uh, re-grease everything. I'm not going to show that. I'll, I'll show you the pin once it's greased up, but uh, I know you don't care enough to see th that procedure. I'm just going to take scotch bright, clean this up. Okay, got the pin greased up. Before I put the boot on, I'm just going to slide it in. Make sure that grease gets in there. Real good. Make sure the boot's completely installed over the bolt. Alright, now, I'm going to flip the caliper over.
and there we go one brake job done and if you keep your key to where the steering wheel is unlocked then uh, you can you can turn the uh, spindle so that you can access everything easier just keep it turn you don't have to keep it completely turned on to where the ignition's on but keep it in the unlocked position and last but not least in fact it's probably one of the most important is make sure that you pump your brakes before you uh, put it in gear remember the pistons are still out it's going to take one or two uh, brake pedal to, uh, pumps to push those pistons out. Anyway, that's how easy it is to do a brake job and rotor replacement. Now, if you was not replacing the rotor, all you would have to do is take this bolt and the bottom bolt out so that you could get the caliper off. This bracket would not need to come off. So if your rotors are in good shape and you're not going to replace them, you just want to put new pads on, just take the caliper off. You're going to have to push the pistons in and then uh, put your pads on and then put your uh, your brakes back, your, your caliper back on, tighten your bolts up, and you should be good to go. Uh, the caliper bracket had to come off because that's the only way you can get the uh, rotor off. And you got one nice brake job done. Don't forget to put your uh, brake line back on and make sure that the line's not twisted. You don't want the line to be twisted. Anyway, you guys take care.